Hey everybody, it's me, Arlene, Delicious Delights, and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about literal gourmand fragrances. Gourmand fragrances are my most favorite type of perfume. I honestly enjoy smelling like actual food. So there are gourmands that kind of are gourmand-ish, where, you know, it does have some foodie notes in it, but it's mixed in with other things, of course. The ones I'll be talking about today are perfumes that actually smell like that particular food or type of cuisine and yeah it's not a perfume type that everyone loves but for me I honestly absolutely love smelling like a walking dessert or a bakery or whatever cake or muffins or something like that so I have 11 fragrances here that I'll be talking about they do range in price but they won't be in any specific order, but I will leave my top three favorite literal gourmand fragrances to the very end of this video. So let's begin here first with Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. This is my only Jo Malone perfume and I do enjoy this so, so much because when I wear this in the summer, it reminds me of very ripe and juicy nectarines and peaches. And it's just a delicious like fruit salad. But I've been wearing this in the winter time lately. And to me, it now smells like a nectarine and peach cobbler where there is a warmness that comes out when I wear this. And um, it's quite thick and heavy and syrupy. And it's just a delicious dessert smelling cobbler that I haven't had a cobbler in a very very long time I don't think I've ever seen it in the Netherlands where I live unfortunately but when I lived in Canada I went to this buffet place a lot where they had like different types of cobblers and um, one of them was like a peach cobbler and this scent reminds me of it and I would just put some ice cream on top of this cobbler and it's just the most delicious dessert ever. <laughs> so that's the first one, Jo Malone, Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. This is my most favorite Jo Malone perfume. This is Mango Skin from the House of Wilhelm Perfumery. I just adore this so, so much. It's another fruity scent, of course, focusing on mango. And to me, in the opening, it reminds me of dried Philippine mango which I don't know I just I love mango it's one of my most favorite fruity fruits to fruity fruits <laughs> uh, fruits to eat and I just I love the smell of mango as well so as this fragrance dries it does have this more desserty type of uh, scent to it it reminds me of mango pudding of um, anything mango really mango cake or anything <laughs> just mango desserts in general and also of course the actual juicy mango and yeah it's like the holy grail best mango scent in my opinion and i absolutely adore these this is called jitapo i do have an older bottle of this I don't really like the new designs of the Serge Luton's bottles, but anyways, Jitapo uh, translates into English as skin games. This to me is a very realistic bakery bread type of scent. It is quite buttery and I have heard some people say that this smells a little bit like buttered popcorn. I kind of, I do get that, but for me it reminds me even more of like a buttered bread. There's also a very nice sweetness in here and maybe like a touch of licorice. And when I first tried this perfume, I wasn't in love with it. I was kind of weirded out by the licorice note because I didn't really associate bread notes or even bread in general with licorice flavors. But after moving to the Netherlands, I realized that there is this kind of licorice taste sometimes in some breads that I've eaten here and now it just totally makes sense. It's uh, quite sweet. Um, I think there's coconut in here as well but all in all it just reminds me of a delicious 
sweet bread bakery with a touch of licorice in the background and it's just so mouth watering and cozy and warm and it reminds me of like baked bread in the oven and it's just delicious and this is my holy grail vanilla scent it's called spiritus double vanille and I just have loved this for so many years, you guys. It's like literally the best vanilla perfume that I've ever tried. I do smell a vanilla extract in here, um, but it's like the most delicious vanilla extract scent. And also there's a touch of booze in here as well. So it just smells so luxurious. It smells expensive. It's sweet. It's smooth and silky and um, like as I said, it, it is the best vanilla perfume and vanilla is one of my most favorite notes. So this is Amouage Sunshine. So Amouage Sunshine was a love at first sniff for me. To me, it smells very much of sticky apricots and apricot pastry with all the glaze on top and it's quite sugary and sweet. It's more complex than that. There are other things going on in here. Um, but when I wear this, I'm just basically reminded of a delicious apricot pastry. This is a mochi atelier in Tokyo. So I think I bought this for like 16 euros. And it was like one of my most favorite releases of last year. It is a very realistic mochi dessert. I recently went grocery shopping at the Asian grocery store and I picked up a lot of mochi and I've been eating it sometimes with my, my tea. And it really does smell so realistic in here in this perfume. Um, there's pear in here and some powdery vanilla thing going on and you know for the price it was just a steal of a deal it smells more expensive than what I paid for it and I don't think there are many mochi dessert perfumes out there so this one was for me just so enjoyable for me to wear and a must-have in my opinion okay moving on we have a perfume that I have been talking about a lot lately this is from the House of Kerosene. This is Kerosene Follow with my, <laughs> I'm sorry about the, uh, the fingerprints all over it. Okay, so Kerosene Follow basically is a very realistic coffee scent. It smells like dark roast coffee beans. It's quite dark and heavy. It lasts forever and ever on my skin and on my clothing as well. So if you want to smell like you have spilled a big cup of dark roast coffee on you, then do try this. This is Ombre Narguilé, my favorite from the Hermesens collection of Hermes. So Ombre Narguilé is basically the scent of the inside pie filling of an apple pie. So it's quite warm, it's apple-y, you also get the spices in there like nutmeg and cinnamon and um, I just love the scent of apple pie. It's one of my most favorite scents in the world. <laughs> the scent of apple pie in the oven is just perfect. Uh, it makes me happy, it's like cozy and warm and the taste of apple pie is even better. So um, Ombre Narguilé is just so literal to that scent and that's the reason why I love it so much. So we have three more to go. These are going to be my top three literal gourmand perfumes. First one here is a perfume from the House of Ganache Parfums. I haven't talked about this a lot lately on my channel. Um, I still really, really love this one, you guys. It's called Lemon Eclair. I do know that they reformulated it, so if you're able to get your hands on it now, I'm not sure it would be the same. Um, but this, to me, is just the most delicious lemon eclair scent. It makes me think of lemon donuts and lemon desserts and a lemon pie with all the cream on top. Um, I also get like an ice creamy type of scent in here as well. So 
it is just a delicious, realistic lemon eclair scent. I wear this if I want to have like a special treat um, to wear. So that's Ganache Parfums from the house. Oh, sorry, that's Lemon Eclair from the house of Ganache Parfums. In the second spot, we have a perfume from the house of Floraiku. I just have like a small travel size of it here. Let me just take it out. So this one is called One Umbrella for Two Eau de Parfum. And it's from the Secret Teas and Spices collection. So One Umbrella for Two was my most favorite niche discovery. I think it was 2018 or 2019, sorry. And this one to me literally smells of blueberry muffins in the oven. Blueberry muffins are my most favorite dessert or at least one of them. And, you know, it just smells so realistic in this perfume that it's so yummy, warm, cozy, sweet, fruity, and it has like this bready quality about it that makes me think of muffins. Um, there's other notes in here. There's tea notes in here too. So I do also imagine alongside with these uh, blueberry muffins straight from the oven, I imagine sipping a cup of blueberry tea as well. So if you get a chance to try this, please do. It is just so amazing you guys i'm not even kidding it's so so good and um yeah 10 mils will last me for a while and maybe one day i'll get a bottle of it but travel sizes are okay to use for me for now to see if i actually need to have the bottle of it so that's one umbrella for two from the house of floraiku in second spot Finally, we have one more perfume here. This is one that I've been talking a lot about lately on my channel. This is a Tat Libre d'Orange, Fils de Dieu du Lit et des Agroom. In a nutshell, smells like steamed rice with coconut, with lime and ginger. It smells like the kitchen of my parents' house when my mom is cooking some Filipino food. It's just a delicious, savory gourmand that is so realistic, warm, cozy. It just warms my heart because my family lives in the Canada right now. Well, they also live in the Philippines as well. Uh, and so whenever I feel a little bit homesick, I, I wear this and I spray my clothes with it. And sometimes I spray my bed with it just to get those nice, fuzzy, cozy feelings <laughs> and it works and um, that's why I love this scent so so much so that's my number one literal gourmand perfume that I own I hope you guys enjoyed this video I would love to hear your opinions on these fragrances if you've tried them and also if you have some other literal gourmand fragrances that you enjoy i would love to hear about them in the comments thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon in another video take care guys Bye bye